Welcome back to Artifact Seeker and today we are playing Elena aka the character where you don't want to get distracted by the profile picture. <laughs> but yes, it's all about death and well pretty much just death today. I'm noticing why is the weapon so horrible? But yeah, we are looking for all kind of death things. Now I'm not 100% sure if we want to take the skeletons but we do have seven total slots, so I will take them because I assume there are like just seven abilities in total. But hey, the thing is there are a lot of amazing death abilities like the Assassin's Blade. Okay, let's take that and see how it performs. Oh, wow. Oh, that is a lot of damage. But what we are looking for is the Scythe symbol down there. Then we know that we want to pick something. And the Assassin's Blade performs cause extra damage on critical hits. So we want to go for a lot of crits with that one at least. Um, let's go. Dark Hammer. Oh, giant hammer falls from the sky, boom to deter enemies, so knockback pretty much. Interesting. But yeah, we also have the death ability. I'm not really sure what that is, like the reaper ability, how it gets triggered. I have a feeling there are not even enough death abilities. We may have to take dark, which I wouldn't have a problem with. Reaper, when kills an enemy on full HP with one hit, there's a chance to summon the Reaper to harvest the surrounding enemies. That's pretty much an insta-kill, right? Like, if you insta-kill one enemy, then you can insta-kill everything around that. That sounds interesting. Now, Annihilate is something that we want. We want to have a lot of crits, right, to one-shot them. Wait, we have two crit things here. Uh, sure, sure. I'll just get... Okay, I'll lock you. Bonus luck and more enemies also always sounds good because then we can farm more and we have a roll. I don't really want to stack them up right now, so let's just continue. My path that I have has normal enemy, elite, normal enemy, elite, elite. That is the best start that I could find. Most of them had three or four enemies, but here we have five and two are elites. Uh, you know what, I'll just help them. Let's see what happens. We got a rock hammer, but we lost gold, but the thing is I had no gold left, so it doesn't matter. Trap skill power... I really don't care about that, but hey, we can at least sell it eventually. Oh wow, these are both death skills. And that's a trap which we just upgraded, but we'll go for Reaper's Call. One thing I've noticed, all of these are physical, right? Physical, 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 physical. Yeah, and th this one is also physical. Wow. Wait, that means we only want to go for strength. I have to be aware of that, like I need to track that if there is a magical one, but so far it really looks like. We only have physical traits, so please don't get intelligence. Okay, nice. Elite is approaching the Black Slime, and the Assassin's Blade gets upgraded again. This one will be a very good one to focus on. Shouldn't have taken the Magnet, just saw something pop up. Nah, happens from time to time. Where is this dude? I don't even know what he really does, but I think it will be fairly simple to kill him, yeah. I just love the amount of physical death abilities that we have because I personally don't like it to split up intelligence and physical and now we just have physical. Do I am wondering if there is even a 7th death ability or not in the game. Oh, skill cooldown and bonus experience are both amazing. I think I'll take the skill cooldown though. Maybe, well it's 2% experience, listen we'll find that over time. I will take you for sure, okay. And now we have enough gold to buy the stuff that I couldn't buy before, the Assassin's Hood. Skill cooldown, yep, yeah, there it is, that's exactly what I was talking about. Ooh, a shop refresh, that is perfect. I could buy this for more luck, but I rather want to look for the different ones. Shop refresh is always amazing though. Um, the strength, I think we can do better, like, yeah, for example, that one. And I think I'll just get the four strength. Given that everything that we have is strength reliant and they attack very slow, we have to make sure that we nuke. Um, I think the treasure chest is better. Maybe it's not better, but oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's perfect. Let's take it. Even more skill cooldown. Oh, come on, skeleton soldiers. I mean, they have an amazing evolution where they shoot like three arrows instead of one. You see them here where they stand. They're this one. Oh, careful. Okay. Now we are good. Okay. I have to turn down the sounds, actually. <laughs> this has been a common issue. Let me turn it down to 58%. Because I feel like, okay, I, I just walked into that, yeah. I feel like when we get to a wave where like a huge amount of enemies spawn, this will just be like, <laughs> all the time, like crazy. Ooh, landmine. That is so good. Why is the trap on level four already? We must, we must have gotten a lot of upgrades for that, but that's good for me. Oh, there's the ultimate ability. Look at that. Didn't need it, accidentally pressed it, but it will be recharged for the next time where I need it. 
I think with this character, we will have to go for a little bit of health because the attacks are so slow. Just to make sure that we survive, you're always good. I could go for a higher crit rate, oh, but then I lose luck. I don't really want to stack that one. Now let's see, the Wicked Werewolf is approaching. I do not have my ultimate ability right now. Can we deal with him easily or not? I would say he is taking like zero damage. <laughs> he doesn't care at all. Oh my god, skill cooldown. And we have huge skills, like uh, huge skill cooldowns. Or, like, they take very long to recharge is what I mean. So now they are popping off all the time. Oh, that was good. So the only issue I'm having is that because it takes so long to cast our stuff, it's sometimes a bit difficult to not take damage from the enemies. As long as I keep moving, it's fine. But other times, it's they overwhelm me and I can't really go anywhere. So, I don't even know. Should I upgrade the landmine maybe? But you are almost maxed out. I should focus on those getting maxed out that I can evolve them. Yeah, that looks so cool. <laughs> Pierce and Annihilate. Yes, please. That is very expensive. But at the same time, pretty much exactly what I wanted. Okay, even these basic enemies deal 130 damage to me in a single hit. I have to be very careful with that because I think once we have an elite hitting me or a boss that this could be troublesome. That also means I want to have more HP, but also more armor, which I'm building up, but we are about to fight the boss. How do we already have 4k damage numbers sometimes? Look at this, 3.9k. That is so much. How? We just started. <laughs> Ooh, I'm still not seeing a 7th death ability. I really hope there is one. But that is amazing. Like, this thing here deals so much damage when it crits. Do we care more about crit or more about strength? I think I will go for the strength here because I don't really want to decrease my luck this early on. That is an amazing one, though. Oh, yes. Well, the skill cooldown bonus is not that great, but getting so much bonus experience will help us out a lot. Then we have more armor piercing. I also started collecting this one. Oh. <laughs> uh, there is the upgraded Reaper Scythe. Oh, beautiful. Do you think the boss is ready for this? That was just in time. This one is also almost upgraded. The cooldown is 2.5 seconds and the duration is 2.3 seconds. That means it's almost permanent. The first elite is a pro- He's getting destroyed by the scythes. But completely. It's a little bit unreliable, but all in all, we deal so much damage. The enemies don't know what to do. You are also maxed out. That means next level up, we may have a chance to already evolve it. There's Remus. Do you think he has a chance? I think we will just nuke him with my ultimate ability here. Hopefully. I actually don't know if it deals any damage. Okay. Ouch. So far, we did absolutely no damage. Okay, that's fine. Oh god, okay, he just evolved into the stronger version. I did wait to get the Vortex of Death. There he is. He still has so much HP. Oh god, okay. We are fine. Skeleton Soldiers. Are you new? No, nothing of this year is new. I have a feeling we don't have another ability that we can take. So I think I will just take a dark one because that's very fitting if we get like a legendary on it. Okay, how are we doing now with the archers? They should deal way more damage. Take a look at the damage, 45k, 35k, 3k, but this one is complicated because it's close by. One point... Did we... Did you die? Oh, he died. Oh, that was cute. 5k, 1.3k. <laughs> that was simple. Oh, that's an Annihilate level. You know what? I'll take that because then we get this up. Wind skill power, luck bonus is good. So here we can see the damage the weapons did on the last stage. And yeah, the Reaper did by far the most one. It's not even close. I think this route here makes the most sense. We have a triple elite and a normal one in there. Do you think the new stage will be very difficult for us? Or it will be something incredibly simple because um, we have two upgraded abilities now? Let's see. <laughs> Kindergarten so far. <laughs> the enemies can't do anything. The best part is the moment they die, the, the Reaper spawns and kills all the other surrounding enemies. So we have a huge AoE clear as long as we can keep up with killing the enemies. And that's my only concern. That it could be that eventually they just have too much HP and it's no longer enough. But this is why I'm going for crits to make sure that we have enough. There's the Reaper Call on level 5. One more level in you and we can upgrade it. Still, everything that we have so far is physical and boy, the scaling on these. Look at that. 1920. On a 6 second cooldown. Wait, why is this so high? Huh? 
8,900 base damage? <laughs> what happens to you if you evolve it? Oh, I really want to see that. And the skeletons are catching up. 3.3 million damage. I can't wait to upgrade this one, though. Like, it already has half a million damage. Now, I'm not even sure anymore if this backpack is worth it. But it has a lot of bonuses. These were not that minus two armor, really. Oh, that's perfect. Getting physics here. Minus intelligence doesn't matter to us. It's my entire money. How do people have enough money to buy stuff? I literally just bought one thing and my entire money is gone. I think I'll use my refresh here. The, all of this stuff is kind of bad. We could have way more crit rate and crit damage, but I decrease my luck by so much. What is our crit rate right now? Our crit rate is only 38%. I'll take it. It sucks to lose so much luck, but I think it's worth it overall to make sure. Like, now we have a 48% crit rate, which is very high. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Um, I'm expecting to see a lot of Reapers here unless we're doing something wrong. How's it going? Yeah, I would say you see a lot of Reapers pop up. <laughs> Look at this. Whoa. I have 500 HP. Wait, what happened? What even did so much damage to me? Huh? Okay, I need to heal up ASAP. There is another potion. Ooh, I think it's these slow projectiles that get shot. Like, they take ages to travel over the map, and if you're not careful, you just walk into them. Reaper's Call is maxed out. Losing cooldown again. 5.5 seconds right now. Okay. I can't wait to see you upgrade, though. Okay. 10 seconds. Ooh, wait a moment. And... Oh... <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! Jesus! Your everything is amazing! Oh my god! You have 21,000 damage on a 5 second cooldown. What do you think the crits look like? This is actually a complicated call. I I want to take this. I want to take I want to take so many of them, but I think I will take the skill cooldown. The max HP would actually also be good, but mine is Really? Everything was negative about you? Here we can see the damage numbers. Are you kidding me? Seven seconds, you did 800k damage? In seven seconds? <laughs> I think that one will have a lot of damage. The chicken is really good. It's 200 health. That must be worth it. Why is my crit rate at 107? I think the buff still applies, the one that I had. More armor, I will also take that because I'm growing concerned that I may end up dying. Strength, intelligence, minus experience bonus. It's still 12 strength. That is quite a lot. So, yeah. No, I'm, I'm fine with that. What do we have here? Enemy respawn is really good. Yeah, let's take that. I could also sell something, but yeah, don't really care all too much. And the Assassin's Blade needs to get upgraded. The one thing I have to keep in mind is we do have a huge amount of damage, but the enemies pretty much need three hits to kill me or four hits. So don't mess us up, Dex. Where's the Demon Shaman there? Let's just nuke him. Yeah, we have way too much damage. Like, <laughs> that was just a 200k, and that ability is not that great in comparison to some other abilities we've had. So having this much damage on it is insane. There's the Assassin Blade with way more range. Ooh. Also a decent amount of damage scaling, but honestly, it's not that great. But let's see how much damage we have at the end of this round on all of the abilities that we have. I'm especially curious about the purple one. I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not hovering over it. But I would expect that its damage is completely insane. Oh god, I got stuck. Nice, there we go. Find a lot of these. Whoa. Whoa wait, wait, wait. What is that beam? This sword gets shot out now and travels across the entire stage. Can I stand still and I'm protected? Wait, really? What are some of the highest damage numbers? 53,000! You did 53,000! 57,000! What? Did I see that right? No. Oh, the magnet. It doesn't matter. We have insanely high scavenge, as you can see. Like, nothing disappeared. You only did 5.7 million. It kind of makes sense because it's close to us. Yeah. But uh, that's a little bit disappointing, actually. Even though this is very expensive, I think now I can afford it. Armor piercing is also nice to get it as a bonus. I think I will take the rusty key, but not too many of them. Hey, wait, experience is 5 right now, right? That means now it's 6. That means we have a higher artifact drop rate. Yeah, Scholar. 
<laughs> Who did the most damage? Okay, kind of the same story again. We still have 40k, that means we can use that in the shop here. Hopefully we get, yeah, perfect, death upgrades. And we can roll a bunch of, ah, before I do that, let me actually first check the artifacts. If there's something in there, you are not bad. But the problem with this one is we don't really know how much it affects. And even though this one would be nice, it's way too expensive just for, whoa. So I definitely do not care about the hammer. Let's get rid of that. Uh, we need 6,000 more. There's honestly no great thing that I can get rid of. So I will just take this one. And then we even have a little bit of leftover money. And now we have the champion's belt. Are you? Oh yeah, you're already at 6. So it's just 10% crit and bonus crit damage. But I mean, that's a huge multiplier that we have now. Oh my god. Plus 3 projectiles on you. So you have a total of six now, right? Yeah. Let's see if the boss can deal with that. I doubt it, but maybe I'm entirely wrong. We do have a chest on here, weirdly enough, and there's crit down there. Ooh, the graphic card will die very quickly. I did decrease my HP a little bit, but 1,500 I think is still solid. Look at the amount of Reapers. What is going on here? Uh, 600 gold, nice, thank you. <laughs> 600 gold, nice, thank you. <laughs> Why am I getting so much gold here? The Dark Hammer is the final skill that still needs to be upgraded. After that, I'm not too sure what we'll do. Because, like, what skill will I take? The boss is incoming, so let's take the buff. Let's see how well you're dealing with our insane weapons. Okay, he is doing a triple attack. We have to dodge. We have to make sure that I don't stand in his attacks. He is kind of dying quickly but at the same time it's not simple oh wow i got hit 200 he is evolving uh what do i have down there that's cooldown reduction okay careful i can't dash i can't dash Ooh, okay that was really close i have my ultimate ability i i can dash nice we are killing him but i'm a little bit concerned because look at how slow i am i have no more movement speed left i just realized if i can't kill the final boss very fast <laughs> <laughs> I will just die. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. The elites lose a lot of HP. And if I take this a bit further. The question is. Th does this make sense for me? It gives me a lot of movement speed. Which I'm struggling with. But at the same time. I could also be greedy. And just deal way more damage to the enemies. You know. <laughs> We're another one. Time is skill cooldown. If I take that. 20% damage is a lot. Luck is also insane. And we have an entire stage ahead of us. So what I'll do is. I'll take the luck. Nothing all too exciting in there, but now we are hoping to get insane things. Well, that's kind of insane. It's an, I can't even afford another skill slot. <laughs> Sorry, that's way too much money for this little of an effect. Movement speed and scavenge. I'm lacking movement speed, so that's good. And now we have 100% scavenge. I wonder if more than 100% means that you get bonuses. Why is everything so bad that I'm getting offered? The good thing is we have money left over, so let's plan the route. This one already looks very good. We have three elites, two normal stages. Yeah, I don't think anything comes close to what we have down here, and we can even go for an event over a treasure, so let's just take it. I want to see what the highest damage number is that we can achieve right now. The problem is the purple one has to pop off. Did it hit anything? I don't think it did. I see 14,000 very often. So this is a nice issue to have, but I can't see how much damage this deals because the enemies are dead before I get close to them. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's a very nice issue to have. Okay, we successfully re uh, rescued the NPC. Nice. Dark fan of knife. I guess I'll just get forced into something. Guys, can you please stay alive? I is this a loot goblin? A goblin is... Oh my god. <laughs> well, that was simple. Can I please get close to anyone? I just want to see the damage numbers. Did I see 84,000 up there? No, that was wrong, right? Like, where would the damage come from? We haven't upgraded anything in a while. There's a dark hammer. Sure, you know. It's kind of, kind of nice. Kind of nice. Nothing all too great, but kind of nice. So let's take a look at this purple one. It's about to pop off. I will dash to the left. It's impossible for me to see how much damage it deals. You know what? I think I will actually sell that, yeah, because the rest is not good enough to take it. Yeah, the damage numbers, in case you care about them, this one is catching up. So surprisingly, it has hit a lot of enemies, but I couldn't identify what the damage numbers were from it. Gift from death? 
Okay. Well, that's a very good one. How do I take that? It's so much bonus HP. I think I just have to take it. We will bump up our crit rate again with whatever I can find. Serious question, do I even have to move and do anything? <laughs> because I feel like the enemies... <laughs> like, if I struggle so much to even dash into them, to hit them with this, I don't think the enemies can do all too much. Wait, can't I just calculate this? 18,000 crit damage? Wait, but that's wrong. We already had over 50,000 damage. Mathematically speaking, this is not correct then. It could also be that they have their own crit damage and then our crit damage multiplier is applied on top of that. Like none of these numbers would really make sense if that was the entire crit that we had. So I was forced into the javelin. I kind of just took this one because it was there, but I'll try to get something else. Uh, what would be good? That's a good question, I have no idea. Something dark would be nice because it's fitting, but to be honest, none of them are really death abilities and they kind of take away from what we have. Okay, I haven't considered this, but do you think range is good? I could take a small one, the issue is it decreases my skill cooldown, but at the same time it's not that much, it was like a bit under a percent. Is it just time to take this? I avoided it for so long, but I think it's now time to take it. I wanted to make sure that I have a lot of luck for a very long time. This is the first elite fight on the stage and I really hope that the elite stays long enough that I can hit him with this ability and then we also have to hope that it crits. But it shouldn't be all too hard because it does say crit rate plus 20% and we have 71% right now. I'm buying every single bit of crit rate, like the cheap ones, and every single bit of strength upgrades to make sure that our weapons are stronger. And looking at the damage numbers right now, seeing a 20k, I think that's working. But where's the elite? I really want to use the Reaper Call on you. When you pick up the Magnet, you can get the scavenging bonus while auto-picking. Will not be less than 100%. I feel like I want to do this with the Magnet. <gasps> elite, Elite, where is he? Oh, that was a lot. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, there's this dude. I didn't see the big damage. Where's the Elite? He died? No way, right? No, that, that, no. Huh? Elite approaching, there he is, there he is. Okay, okay, go in. Um, I didn't see very high damage numbers, I'll be honest. I saw 42k there, but that's less than what we had in the past. Really? Or did I just miss it? It's a little bit hard to see because so much is going on. <laughs> Just look at this. Ooh, magnet. Let's do this. I, I think we get a bonus if we use a magnet with the scavenging, it looks like. Dark fan of knife. Uh, that could be worth it, but I'm not gonna waste a level up on that. Uh, let's just keep going. Okay, we just got a huge amount of experience. What just happened there? You get sold for money. I want 100k. I don't think... Yeah, this one is not really worth it. I'll just take you. And another one that gets sold or 6% bonus. Let's take the 6% bonus damage, you know? It could be nice. You are horrible. All of these are horrible. So, 22k, you're welcome to the team. We have over 100k, by the way. Damage number-wise, this one is now the strongest one. I guess because we're killing the enemy so far away that the death spiral can't really do that much anymore, I would assume. Oh, our first Mithril ingot. That is a really good one. Yeah, because crit damage bonus. Nice. How much do we have now? 2.43. Well, it's, it's, it's something. This is, by the way, what the entire levels look like to me. I just chill here and I have nothing to do. And I'm watching all the enemies. There was a 53k. Who was that? Was it you? No, you actually deal way more damage than that. Right? Uh, wait, who was, was it you? It could have been... 123k? Did I just see that right? Yeah, so whatever was hitting the enemies did 126,000 damage. 126,000 damage. And I would assume it was the, the Reaper's Call. Because that would explain why it has such a high damage number, even though it doesn't hit a lot of enemies. Well, because when it hits the enemies, it goes boom. Huh, I didn't get a single magnet on the stage, it looks like. Wasn't there another cube? Yeah, it's down there. I, I can't reach it. But I think we collected either way. Like, right now we have three. Let's actually check this out. We have three. And now we have... Yeah, four. Okay, you collect them. So I don't have to do anything except for the potions. But that one also doesn't matter. 
do I just go for the... Nah, let's take this to six and then we will get the evolutions, the ultimate abilities and I can just replace that. Oh, is it worth to reroll this? These are all kind of... Well, wait, 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 wait. Movement speed gives bonus damage? Um, oh, the price minus 2.5% is also good. Oh, that means I want to, or I can go for more movement speed. This time I want to do the event. Why does he leave the stone gate? Now we go through it. We have balls. We want a reward. Borrow a book with gold coins. Borrow a book with souls. Or use your knowledge. Yeah, sure. We, we have knowledge. Like, that's why I did that. We'll go to the north. I don't really know what the difference is. I feel like the power codex could be the right one. I'm not even sure if it's good. Let's see. Oh, the oh my god, we got physics upgraded. That's perfect. And puncture and pierce. Oh, that was that was the right choice. There we have the javelin. You can't replace it anymore, right? Like if I take that, I think we'll just take the dark sword. Th that makes way more sense. Yeah, let's do it. I'm kind of wasting a level up there, but I would like to have something better, and the Dark Sword sounds reasonable. So the best part is, when it reads break, that means we have an additional level now in them, like th that we can go up to 7 instead of just 6, and that means we can get way more crit damage and strength bonus, and we have way more damage here. Can we... Oh, I, I hope we'll get to see a higher damage number. Dude, where are the enemies? There's just nothing around. That was a blast. Did you see a number there? It, the issue is it has to crit. When it doesn't crit, it deals way less damage. Oh, we could make it on him. Let's see. Did we get it? I didn't see a high crit number. But again, there are so many numbers, it's almost impossible for me to really see that. Uh, you're rescued. Welcome, welcome. The Dark Sword... Do I just take... I'll just take it, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll just take it. It's fine. Oh, soul gems or gold? I will go for the soul gems because they carry over. Are we nuking? Um, okay, but that was easy. The gold honestly would be more reasonable to take that because we could make us way stronger. But at the same time, once we are done with the run, it doesn't matter what we achieved gold-wise. It only matters that we have the soul gems, as many as possible. <laughs> Goodbye. If someone of you saw a higher damage number than what I mentioned most likely in the title, then please let me know. <laughs> because it's so hard to identify them. <laughs> 3,400. I wonder if this was an entire combo. I wouldn't be surprised. 400, are you kidding me? But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this was like the entire kills that we did were a combo. Of the range, let's just take it. I don't know if it's that beneficial that it's like really worth taking. Um, luck is okay, but I'll take the money because look at this. I don't have enough money. I just have 220k. More HP minus one dodge. Yeah, sure. We have 2,200 HP right now. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a total combo here, but look at this. 51 million damage. Oh, dash cooldown, galop. That's a lot of money. Uh, was that really worth it? I, I don't think so. But what I'm thinking is movement speed gives me bonus damage, so I kind of want to take that. Also, you minus skill. Yeah, let's just take it. If it's bonus damage, it's worth it. Wait, did we just unlock the Godspeed blessing? Here. Right, we have that. Yeah, Godspeed level 6. Nice. And we got Swift. Okay. <laughs> That's good, I think. Why am I so fast? Wait, where is this coming from? Look at my movement speed. What? Huh? Wait, what? I have 97% movement speed? <laughs> Where is this? Oh, wait, what? Where have we just negative and slightly bumped it up beyond positive? Why am I so fast all of a sudden? Why is she walking like a gamer? Her bag is so crooked. Okay, now she's slower again. 27% is a lot though. Dexterity blessing successful dodge can accumulate blessing progress and when the blessing progress is full you can get soul gems. Oh, this is how you can farm a lot of soul gems I would assume. Wait, but that is wild. When the blessing progress is full, X skill CD refresh. Okay, but it's galop. After you dash. So I need to dash more. Okay, there's a loot goblin, there's gold, there's a magnet. We have so many things. The thing is, <laughs> it doesn't really matter what I do. No matter where I run to, the enemies just die. Where's the loot goblin though? It must be over here somewhere. Okay, is the loot goblin straight up teleporting? It almost looks like it. There we go. Maybe I should have taken the 40k there, but again, the gold doesn't really matter to me. It doesn't do anything. Oh, there's a big boy. How long do you survive? 
yeah, okay. I'm a little bit scared about the final boss because what typically happens is I'm like, oh wow, I can kill anything and, and then I get humbled. But I think today <laughs> this will not be the case. I think today we'll have a very easy fight. Okay, 200 is good. I'm still looking if I can see higher damage. <gasps> 216,000! 200! 16, did I see that? that? I must have seen it. Dex, check, check the number, please. Oh my god. <laughs> we just did more damage and we have gold, and this is the most gold I've ever had in my life. I think I will refresh this, though I don't expect to get anything good out of the... Wait. Oh, that could also be interesting, but no. Isn't that... Oh, crit rate plus 5%. Oh, but dark skill power, we don't really care about that. I think this is the best one to take. Minus armor, but movement speed. <laughs> sure, let's take that. Surely nothing could ever go wrong. And here I'll just sell this because we need more money. Listen, I'm running out of money. It's very important to, to build that up, to have more of that. Yeah, I think I need more money. I, I don't need something defensive. <laughs> yeah, 2% oh, movement speed. We only have oh, 17% right now. Luck, I mean... Oh, minus two strength, really? What a meme. 81 million damage is the highest we have right now. <laughs> How is this so high? <laughs> oh, God. I want to take every single bit of strength and crit that I can get, but there is not a single one in here. No, I don't think you're worth it. Now, we have so much money to do what we want to do, whatever we want to do. Dark lightning bolts. I'm just looking if I find a death ability, but I don't see anything highlighted. Yeah, there are some punctures in there, but nothing that I really want to have, so... I guess there is no additional death ability. What do you have for me? What I could definitely do is just take things and hope that we get good random attributes, but I have to roll so many of them already that I don't really want to gamble on that, and at the end of the day I just decreased my damage. How am I not getting a single good thing in here? Like, how is that possible? Yeah, like, all of these are completely wasted. I can't believe that I have so much gold and I can't use it. I will pretty much just take all of the negatives and try to turn them positive. Holy skill power plus 14%. Doesn't help us here, but I guess in the future I can take it. Why are these all so horrible? Oh, wow, you are really bad. Knockback bonus is okay. Summon skill power is totally you. What is it with holy? Stop that. Dash distance. Wow. Blood skill power, death, death skill power plus 16%. Wait, <laughs> that's actually insane. Now, the question is, I guess I can buy that, but what do we do with the rest of my money? I could just reroll this one. Dark skills get stronger, trap skills get stronger. Yeah, because if I get something that is death. So we are mainly looking for death and annihilate. I think I can maybe get some upgrades here. Never mind, because the purchases are gone, so we just have a bunch of revivals. Okay, what do I do now? I guess I just get this stuff here. Yeah. Uh, there was nothing ne Can you go away? There was nothing negative in there. I guess I can also go for this one. And now we have no money left. That means even if I roll, I can't buy anything. <laughs> Not that it really matters. Wait a second. Increases movement speed of the character, also increases global damage. Yeah, I would say let's just get that. That's totally worth it. Oh, wow. So now we have 150% swift. I wonder what kind of damage numbers we can reach now. There's nothing I can do anymore. Let's leave. Let's get more good soul gems and it's time to fight the boss. Now you have to pay attention to what kind of damage numbers we see here. There could... I, oh, why? How am I this fast? <laughs> okay, an elite is approaching. Where? Oh, there. How much damage did... I just saw 100k, but I'm pretty sure we can reach way more. There's probably another thing critting. Oh, uh, hi there. I think I saw 200k there, maybe. It's honestly a little bit hard to say. I already see 90k crits. <laughs> 296k! <laughs> so, how much damage do you think can we deal against a boss? I think the boss will have probably armor. So, we can't really do that much against him in comparison to, like, damage numbers that we had. Do I, I don't even see what's going on. Where's the, where's the boss? Over there. Here. Okay, I see 90k. Dude, he's getting shredded. Where is he? There. <laughs> Please pop off. It's about to pop off. Was it a high number? 
I, I, I can't tell. I don't even know what's going on because it, this is just over so quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see how much you survive here. Okay. <laughs> that was the fastest boss fight I've ever had in this game. What just happened? This is the highest difficulty I've ever played on. And it was the fastest boss fight. How broken is this woman? These are the final damage numbers, by the way. Yeah, some of these down here were lacking, but overall we had we had over a million DPS with this one. And the thing is, all of these weapons did a lot of damage. It's not like only one or two weapons killed everything. <laughs> so, I don't know. Total score. Wow. So someone told me if I hold down space, I can collect all of them. Oh yeah, all of them got collected. Oh, and you can even get a vault, apparently, if you upgrade a building, whatever that is. So that was it for today, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.